stay for you. Oh yeah, it's that. It's that in PDF. R that is in 30th number, universal gas constant. So remember we can add those quantities and subtract those quantity which are dimensionally same. Yes, guys. Any yes. idea? Yes, they're doing it. What about us? I'm working on it. Okay. Sadab? Samhita? Yes, I'm trying. Sir, I'm also trying. Very good. Try until you get answer. You should get. And this was asked in some which year? Let me check the date. Nope, it's not mentioned yet. Okay, we can do this 2017 question. It's good. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this one you can sort, yeah. This little bit, next question is a little bit complicated, but we'll try it. Okay. Nice. I'll take it for the dimension length. Conversion part is difficult a little bit. That's it. If you get conversion, that's it, done. 
Yeah, yeah. We, um, we have to convert that n to the terms of PVG. Anyway, you can do this. Multiply this bracket inside and uh, equate with the pressure and whatever it is. Sir? Yes? Is A, K minus 1 and B, mole minus 1? B mole minus one. No, okay. One I just double check. So whatever we're multiplying doesn't matter. What we're adding, it matters. We can add and subtract those quantity which has same dimensions. So PV, P, P means pressure. Force per unit and M1, L minus one, T minus two, L three. So this should be L3 and which one is L3? B. Is my multiplication correct? Hmm. It should be L3. See, basically what I did here, I just compare those quantities. Now I'll compare this one and this P. So I have here M1 L minus one, so minus nine plus two, T minus two equals to A L minus three. It's in division. So I can write here A equals to M one. Five T minus two. Did I miss any number? Sir? Yeah. I'm getting a B to be L T minus one. B is L minus one. That's what I'm getting. No, no, no. I said L T minus L one T minus. This is I'm getting on A. 
and b equals to l3 just let me check do we have answer in this one before checking let me check my answer is it read out in this one multiplication is correct yes then i'm sure it should be right let me check do we have answer that is it Now in this one, I can't find the answer. Yeah. What's your out? What is it? Okay, now here what I ask you to find out dimensions. Now, if I ask you to find units, then how will you find unit? If the question is find out units and dimensions, both. Dimension we found, L3. So units are for what? Both A and B. So, sir, you would just use SI units, right? Meters cubed, and then this would be kg um, meter to the power of five by time squared. I mean, seconds. Kg meter per second. This will be meter cube. Okay. This will be kg. Kg meter per second. Meter to the power of five. Five seconds second squared. Square. So, does it look like similar to your Newton? Yes. yes. So how Perfect. to make it Newton? Newton into? M to the power 4. Yeah. So this is the dam units for A. Unit for B. Sir? Yeah? I didn't quite get how you got the dimension. Oh. I just did directly actually. See, I'll, I'll solve it again. Sir, I also got the same answer, but I simplified it more uh, in from this equation, PV minus, uh, minus PV plus A value. That equation I simplified it. Okay. Now see here, uh, remember what I said that day, we can add and subtract those quantities whose dimension are same. So what I did, I just found this, I just simplified this one, PV, then minus PB, then plus A by V, because AV into V square, that is A, A by V minus AV by V square equals to RT. So we are not actually worried about this one. If in your school exam they ask, then you have to solve everything, you have to write everything show all the values but in, as we are <coughs> practicing for <coughs> comedy exam so <coughs> shortcut is necessary <coughs> okay <coughs> no so as they, <coughs> they have given this formula that means you have to assume that formula is correct because they didn't ask in question that is this dimensionally correct or not? They didn't ask those things. That means this formula is correct. Blindly I do believe this. Then I can add this two when they are dimensionally same. So I can compare this one PV equals to PB. PP cancel so B is L cube. Same way PV equals to A by V. A equals to PV square. What is P? Pressure. M1, 
L fourth by area. So minus one. T minus two. V square. L to power three and two six. That means M one L to power five. T to power minus two. Clear? Yes. Yes, sir. Everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Super. Sir. Yeah. How exactly did you get P V squared? Okay, I just send this thing here. Okay, okay, got it. See, I'm finding my easy way. This is not the actual way. Do it. I'm finding my easy way to solve numerical. You can solve. Right, you can find your own your own way. Okay. So even. Book and teachers, they are for you to guide. Okay, how to solve it? But if you learn from them and get your own way, always, so that you will never forget. Because if you learn from book, okay, some after some times you will forget. Okay, have you done Young's modulus thing? I don't know. I'll just scroll so much. Check. Have you done this young modulus? Like uh, yes, sir, we did. Y equals to four by area and the change in length by original length. Okay then. Okay. Yeah, I was about to give you some question, right? Yeah. A physical quantity I have given as a PDF no let me check charge units and measurements. No, 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 not this one. I haven't tried. Okay, I'm uh, uploading videos. Are you getting those links, right? On a Google Classroom? Oh. Yes, sir. Okay, so if you have any further doubt, like you can search it in that and fast forward and play it. Because it's one now, you will get bored. Of length <clears throat> that can be formed out of okay, this is C, small c, capital G, and E squared by four pi epsilon naught. There C is charged. Wait, no, C is not charged here. C is speed of light. Yeah. City of light. G is universal. Constant of gravitation. 
and E is charge. Now, if you remember or you know or not, I don't know. Formulas for force, then you can solve it directly. But uh, okay, you go in normal way because you have not studied uh, 12th standard first chapter. No? <laughs> okay, no problem. See, if like uh, now, okay, but later on when you study, no, then up, keep upgrading. For now, it's okay, but when you study 12th standard, then keep upgrading yourself. Like, okay. I can use directly, now I know this formula, so I can use directly that solution. I'll show you that first you try our normal way, substitute those things and find out this one, it should be there. Epsilon naught is permittivity. Is it there? Yes, permittivity constant at free space, it's there, which is number 38. It's not mentioned here, but uh, I'll mention here, permittivity. Hey, what's the question, sir? I didn't finish. Oh. Yeah. Find the physical dimension for of length. We need to find the dimension of length okay. in terms of these three quantities. E, C, and this one. So if you want a hint, do you want a hint or you're trying? So after some time, can you give the hint? Yeah, sure. Try. This is also easy, but just, oh yeah, anyone, this is ask, this was asking, uh, Nate, 2017. Uh. Okay, did I ask you to make one small notebook for your uh, formulas? That, then that might be your 12th batch. Yeah, see, now, now it's how you start this like, and maintain the notebook till you complete your JE exam or NEET exam, whatever you're appearing. Okay, one like palm size your notebook, not notebook, a diary kind of thing. And so it will be very helpful. And writing like the micro handwriting, like small handwriting and formula, some special condition or a reason where to use some micro handwriting. Another formula, like special case. Okay, we will use this formula in this case and something, some reason. That way you maintain the notebook till you complete your JE exam or competitive exam, whatever it is. Sir, one of the answers is C square by G. C square by G, okay. Options are e, C square, G, E square by, by under root. Okay, you want me to give option? Yeah, you can. Option number A. C square, G. E square by four pi epsilon naught one by two. Option number B one by C square E square by G four pi epsilon naught. One by two. 
so this whole term you cannot separate okay this whole term you cannot separate g is 1 c is 1 and this whole term is 1 So, what would be the dimension of permittivity? See that in uh, number the PDF number thirty-eight. Okay, sir. Hold. Quantity number thirty-eight. Check that. But if I am solving that, I will not use that. I'll just directly follow the formulas. F equals to k q one q two. A k is what one by four pi epsilon naught by r square. Okay, let me give you a hint as a formula. Let's let me give you a hint as a formula. That will be better. I think you'll get you will get confused in this thing. So see, formula is f equals to one by four pi epsilon naught q one q two by r square. Here q one q two means q square. Let's take q square here, and here we have e square. Right? E is a charge. They're given a charge, right? Okay. E S charge. Now they have taken this as a one quantity. So send this that side. So your E square by four pi epsilon naught should be dimensionally equals to four into R square. This is your small hint. Because This conversion will be difficult to find dimension of this whole quantity. This dimension separate, this dimension separate will be difficult. So better follow this way. any progress or shall i give a second hint no sir i'm making progress i can do it and like see don't worry because this formulas you don't know so you cannot get that hint so that's why i gave you so just a minute sir i am yeah. no problem no problem you could just you are in 11th standard only no? so you don't know this formula you will study this formula in 12th standard first chapter Sir, uh, can the mass exist in one by two power? I'm um, sorry, I didn't get you. Sir, is the ma uh, mass uh, can the mass exist in the power of one by two? 
yes, it can be anything any quantity can be 1 by 2 okay. what does this mean that mass is under root or under root m that's what it means okay. in options we have like that see we have square 1 by 2 everything we have So you always find an easy way to write also and solve also. If I'm solving, then I will not use whole term again and again. So what I'll do, I'll take this as a A or B or something so that I don't have to write again and again because it's competitive exam. So they, they no one, no one will check your, like how you solve. Sir, we have to find for length, right? Yeah, we need length. But sir, in every option, the mass is a very disturbing thing. Okay, so length is <coughs> equals to constant k c to power x. What is next? g to power y and I'm assuming this as a a a to power z so dimension of c first what is c velocity c is l t minus 1 G, gravitational acceleration. What is the gravitational acceleration? R, F R square by M square. So minus one, M minus one. L three and T minus two as it is. And this one, A, dimensions of A are Y. This is force into A, uh, R square. So M1, L3, T minus 2, Z. And here L dimension is 1. So we need to find x, y, z so that everything will be done. So L equals to M minus Y plus Z. L equals to X plus 3 Y plus 3 Z. T equals to uh, T power, what equals T power minus X minus 2Y minus 2Z. Okay. Now we can compare this one. X plus 3Y plus 3Z equals to 1 minus Y plus Z equals to 0 and minus x minus 2y minus 2z equals to 0. Sir? Yeah? I didn't get that step where you wrote L equal to m to the power minus y. So we are equating powers with the same quantity here. L and L are equal. So I'm equating L1 equals to L x plus and so on. So I can equate these powers. Bases are same, so I can equate powers. Base are same, so I have been equating powers. So here, m is zero, t is zero, l is one. 
So I'm comparing with this equation with zero, this equation with one, and again, this equation with zero. This equation in the sense, the powers with zero. So I still and, don't get why you're equating with one and zero. Which one and zero? Like you mean this? You are equating it, right? Yeah, this one. Yeah, how is that? <laughs> See, suppose uh, a to power b equals to a to power x. Okay. So okay. in powers and exponents, I can say that b equals to x. Yeah. So if bases are same. So same thing I'm doing here. I'm equating m to m, t to t, and l to l. So this is m of, sorry, uh, l of right hand side to the left hand side. Left hand side, we have one. If you can see here, oh, left hand okay, side is it, one. We have right hand side this powers. So I'm equating this powers. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, find out ABC. I'm sorry, XYZ here. Yes, guys, what happened? Are you doing right? X, Y, Z? Okay, if I solve it here, X equals, sorry, Y equals to Z from this equation. If I substitute Y equals Z here, so it will be 3Z. So I'm getting uh, y and z as one, sorry, minus one, and x as four. Y and z is fun. As minus one. Wait, y. We don't have a, like that. Okay, y and z is one, then x as? That means option C. That is an option C, so right? Give me some time. Yeah. You said Y and X. So Y and Z is one, one. And X is minus one. That means it should be option C. Okay. Let me check option C. No, it is not option C. Okay. What about remaining people? Aditi, Garima? Yes, just one minute. Okay, dear. Samarth, what about you? Yes, I got it. You got it? I uh, just uh, mistakenly taken that uh, G is a small g. That's why it's not getting. Okay. And Samhita? Still trying it, so it's kind of hard. Oh, okay. Take care. Rahman, you are not connected to audio. Change it. Can you hear us?
Yes, sir, I'm getting A. Option A. Option A. C square. And yes, G sir. minus one by two. That means Y one, one by two. Yes, half correct, half wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sir. Yeah. What are you? What do you mean, half correct? Half. Uh, one thing is misplaced. Remaining thing is wrong. Uh, right. Check once again. As per this answer, okay. Not sure, like uh, this book I'm printing is right or wrong. That will check. You check once, yeah, then I'll yeah, solve it here. Time. Did anyone finish? Okay. okay. This can be written as x plus 2y plus 2z equals to 0. So, from this one, y equals to z. So, let's substitute in this one and this one. We'll get two equations to one node. So, x plus 3z plus 3z equals to 1 from here x plus 2z plus 2z equals to 0. So x plus 4z equals to 0 and x plus 6z equals to 1. So if I subtract this x plus 6z equals to 1 minus x minus x plus 4z equals to 1. That means 2z equals to 1, so z equals to 1 by 2. So y and z are 1 by 2, 1 by 2. z equals to 1 by 2. Okay. So y is also 1 by 2 as per this equation. X. See, x should be minus only. Plus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 equals to 1 x equals to 6, uh, x, uh, 6 by 2 equals to 1, x equals to minus 2. Yes, x equals to minus 2. So, how we'll write this? L equals to, uh, what is it? C, G, and A. C, 1 by 2, no, no, not 1 by 2, C is minus 2, C is minus 2, C is 1 by 2, by two. and A is 1 by 2. So, in option, we have 1 by, yeah, that means option D. Because this means C square and G and A as 1 by 2. Everyone, did you understand what I'm doing here? Yes. Or you're just but, writing? Sir, we can do another way. This is a long way. So we can do through the options, right? Yes. What is it? See? Yeah. Uh, we can uh, put the values in the options and then get it. Uh, the option which is correct. Which yes, is correct. yes, of course we can do. 
yeah it would be uh, it would take a little less time that's all. it will be yeah it will be much easier actually yeah. it will be much easier just if we substitute units if you know units of those quantity we can substitute that yes yeah, sir we can right sir. we can substitute that yes dear tell me uh you know when you solved it yeah um i understood to till, till a certain point but in these type of questions you're applying this technique where you gave where you gave each of each one a value and then you you substituted it and then calculated it using the equations right yeah i'm not really thorough with that like i i don't really get what how you got those formulae and stuff okay see dear like uh, what we did just equating those quantities <laughs> How I equate it? See this one, this m, I'm equating with this m. Okay. And this l, I'm equating with this l. All right. And this t. And that t with that. With this t. So okay, we'll so get once three you get the values. You put them in, and okay, got it. Three equations, right? So we got this equation number one. Two. Where is three? No, no. This is not three. This is three, right? Yeah. Got it? Yes, sir. What about others? Yeah, I got it, sir. Okay. Garima. Yes, sir. Understood. Yeah. Now yes. see. Yeah. Now one more way, like uh, I somewhat said, it's correct. Actually, it is easiest way because there nobody is going to check, right? So if we know all these quantities and their units, so what we can do? we can just write all the units here okay meter per second and uh, q and all the g unit and those unit then where and everything will be cancelling right if it is q here as a q and q will get cancelled if it is second here second and second will get cancelled so finally in out of this four equation what is left we should have only meter somewhere only 1 meter should be left so if it is there that that's it no need to solve this long method but provided we should know this dimension and units also but that you will learn later because these are the uh, this formula is fr it's from 12th standard so we'll get to know next year so for timing you learn this way but don't forget this what i said okay his idea is correct his idea is correct yes yes sadab can you scroll down a yeah <coughs> a bit of okay okay sir so can you scroll a bit up like a bit more sure this part yeah, a bit more. L equals twelve one.
So you have completed this chapter in your school, right? And no, sir. Uh, okay. Today was our second lecture on this chapter. Oh, okay. What about this? So the schools have not started yet. Okay, no, they started. It's already seventh month. Yeah. The I month. completed this chapter in my school. They started on washing. Okay. Fine. Can you scroll a bit up? Sure. Option part or question part? Question part. Is a case for the down towards the procedure? Towards the procedure? Okay. Then, shall I move down? No, it's fine. Okay. Okay, everyone done writing? Is anyone okay. writing? Don't. Sir, can you scroll down? And sure. Okay, down in the sense which one? Answer part. Yes. Okay. Done, sir. Okay. Okay, guys. See you on next class. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. One more thing. Just try this question one more time. Okay. Okay, sir. We'll share this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye -bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you.